So we're here at 7074 Southwest 114th place, I believe. It's called Snapper Creek Village, Unit B. This is a 2 2, but it's got a nice 2 2 and a half. This is a nice area. It should rent fairly quickly, but it is a particular layout. It is a split floor layout with two beds upstairs, two baths upstairs, and then the half bath downstairs. A little storage area. AC looks decent, actually kind of new, but we have to see. Uh, we got the shutter operation there, but this is a very nice, uh, very nice outside area here. A little pressure clean, a little sealant. Be good to go. You do have some landscape removal, which I'm not sure the association covers. Mm, so here's the front door. It is a very nice layout. You're greeted by a mirror. And then here we have your living room. Pretty decent size. Another mirror. That leads upstairs. Here we have a closet with the AC. The AC is September 2006 installation, which is not bad, not bad. It's got a useful life left. This is a bed, this is a guest half bath. I think it's, it's, a, it's a rental property with, with good potential. I think it needs better lighting. Uh, I think the floors need to be really steam clean just because they lack luster. There's Travis teen upstairs that is just dirty, but I know it's I know you can bring out the luster in it. This is a new washer and dryer up here, and then the kitchen. But before that, we're gonna come back around here and see this dining room area. Now, right here, what we already see, we see a nice gas stove, but we see an old fridge, we see old appliances, and we see an old trash compact. We see a little bit of outdated cabinetry, but it, it only requires changing the handles and maybe a fresh coat of paint. Uh, the cabinets are a little bit more capital intensive. Um, and we'd have to recock, recock there. Um, definitely have to recock that. We have a wood, a, a gas stove. Now uh, everything is operational. It's a bit dirty, but it's a. Uh, old plants and uh, in such a case tenants don't like that anymore it's 2015 little closet little pantry closet Now here, there is like a little bit scratched up. It doesn't seem like it's leaking. That just looks, it looks, I think, a lot worse than it really is.
I think it has something to do with this little hole right there. And when you wash the dishes, a little bit of water seeps down there. Alright, we're gonna go upstairs now. This is a circuit breaker. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Check out these. These are pretty nice. You see what I'm talking about with these floors? We've really got to bring out the luster in them because they are very nice floors. But they're dirty. So we've got a window here. You got the first bedroom. They're big bedrooms. Ceiling fan. You got a closet in between the bathroom. Decent size with an attic. Racks. And here you have This is a little shelf. Those are books for clothes. Just a little bit of discoloration through the water. Maybe we could resurface this. Some epoxy white paint. These fixtures are pretty old. I think that's a small uh, remodel cost though. These fixtures are a little old again. I would replace these fixtures. And you got a nice mirror here on the side. Decent size for a, for a person, a good bathroom. Here's the master, it's got a little balcony. One thing about this community is it is pet friendly and there is no one year rent restriction. Balcony overlooking the Terrace outside, front porch patio, if you will. Another ceiling fan. And again, these travertine floors are okay. There's just a little bit stained, a little bit dirty. This carpet's got to go. I don't suspect it would be a, a, a big job because it's an expansive closet, and this rack system could definitely stay. But this closet has to go, uh, this carpet's got to go. So does this wood beam right there. And this is a pretty old toilet. I think we could change this fixture. And 
toilet seat. Now this bathroom <clears throat> does it seem a little bit old, but I mean the design could you could work. It's a round design. It's a tub and a shower. It does work. Could take a shower right now with how hot it is in here. Up here. This needs updating. There isn't two sinks, but it is still a good condition cabinetry. And top, I think this lighting here is uh, a little dirty, and these lights really take away from the the aesthetics of the bathroom. I don't think they're big enough or bright enough. I think this needs to be removed just entirely, uh, or maybe replaced with something nicer. Okay, here's the thermostat. Well, there you have it, we're in Snapper Creek Village. It's a good rental community. It's more for a family, per se. Again, they do allow pets, they don't have one year rental restrictions, but it does need a little bit of work, a little bit of cleaning, maybe a new fridge, and maybe a custom job in the kitchen with a with the cabinetry, getting rid of that trash compactor, because it's quite frankly hideous. If you look at it over here, it's just a green off color that just would totally dispel any tenant's interest in renting because of the the outdated look that it has. And other than that, the floor plan is as well. You have a little closet here. And you have your stairs in the middle. That's it for Snapper Village. Paint on the door, I suppose. Track lighting there. Okay.